you were struggling. Right. So what are some of the things you put in place that you can help everyone here with on the kind of the step-by-step -step stuff that you layered in mm -hmm. to allow yourself to hit your annual goal in less than nine months? Okay. I joined Recruiter You about two years ago. And I've owned my own business with, with a partner who's my husband since 2003. And I've been in, in this industry since 1997. I have to say, Recruiter You, it, it's been life-changing for me. It's probably the best professional decision I made. When I started, I, I joined something like you're, you're on right now. It was a free few days to learn about the program. And the minute I was finished with it, I said, I need to sign up for this. And I would say even now, I probably just scratched the surface of everything I, I can utilize within the program. There's a learning library with the coaches. For me, the biggest thing was my organization and my time management and not having a plan. So every morning before joining Recruiter U, I would just get up, I'd open up my laptop and be like, all right, who am I calling today? And then all of a sudden they introduced metrics and KPIs and really sitting down saying, all right, where do you want to be? What revenue? What is your goal for your revenue? Oh, my goal is blah, 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 500,000 in revenue. Okay, let's break it down. This is how many interviews you have to have per week. And to get these a number, this number of interviews, this is how many phone calls you have to make. This is how many marketing connects. This is how many recruiting connects. They really mapped a plan and I'm the person that needs everything mapped out for me. So now I have a plan about my numbers. They also helped with, I, I do have researching with Prudent, which they have a new name now, but that's the one of the people that Recruiter U uses. And it does, it takes a little bit of time to get it perfect, but they saved me a lot of time because what I was doing was at the end of the day, at 10 o'clock at night, I was researching, who am I going to call the next day? Now they do it for me. And again, I give them the parameters, the size of the company, the geographic area, the, the titles, the job titles. We have maybe biweekly phone calls just to go over what's working, what's not working. And I also outsource to some people in the Philippines for recruiting. And that has been a game changer for me. I'm not doing everything now. I have a team. We have a meeting every week. Everything I'm learning, I learned through this program. I would not be where I am financially if, if I didn't have a plan like this. I was just winging it and I was an island because I was just by myself in my home office and not knowing what was going on around me, what changes there were in the industry technology-wise, not knowing, can I utilize a place in India? Can I utilize a place in the Philippines? It's just, like I said, I, I can't say enough great things. And in terms of mindset, you know what Mike was saying? I also come from that scarcity mindset. I have that mindset that I can lose it all tomorrow. And I better sock all my money away, that the world's going to end in a minute. And a lot of mindset, it, it, to me, it was like turning around a barge. My mindset from when I started here to where I am now is a 180. It's just, I look at things and I know what it is. I catch myself now. I'm not saying I'm perfect, but I'm able to catch that negative rabbit hole that we tend to go down. I catch it earlier and I'm able to change that. Jen, thank you so much. I was almost in tears. It was such a joy to coach with you personally. Okay. From the moment I met you, you radiated this just beautiful spirit, but it's just amplified now. So thank mm -hmm. you so much for that testimonial. So if we break it down step by step, one of the things, because you went really, that's the Northeast in you, Jen. You went really fast. <laughs> <laughs> Going from reacting to your day, to advice is you need a plan for your day. You mm -hmm. need to know what your metrics are. Mm -hmm. you're a mom and a spouse and you have a mm -hmm. life outside of recruiting. So you know when your day is done now. So with all of this, having your best year ever and doing all those things you talked about, which is these are the steps for all of you to take is reverse engineer your number, put together a plan, mm -hmm. hold yourself accountable. Are you working more hours to do probably two or three X what you used to do or the same or less? I, I'm working, I would say fewer hours because what I was doing was I was working a full day and I was wasting a lot of time at my desk because I look at the clock and say, okay, I have till five or six o'clock to make these calls. Now I have, I have a power hour every morning with two other people from Recruiter U. And really probably after that power hour, half my calls for the day are finished. So that's by 1030. Uh, once I have my goals done, which for me is five marketing connects a day, 
Then the rest of the day, I do more administrative things. I send emails to everybody. I plan the next day, but I'm not up till 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock at night doing work. And the coachings help me, not just the mindset coaching, but the business coaching with Pam. When I first started, I was doing this on my bed. I was running a company on my bed. I'd open the laptop. I'd have the TV on in the background. And Pam's like, you don't have a workspace? I said, I have an office, but I didn't organize it yet. And she's getting that office. You have to feel like you're going to work. And it really, it's night and day, what I'm earning, how I feel about the company. And now our next goal is I own the business with my husband, but during 2008, he took another position because of everything going on in the economy. And he wants to come back now. And now my new goal with my coach is working out a plan for him. And that's what she's helping me do. How much money do we need to have saved? What are his goals going to be? for revenue. He's going to have completely separate goals than me. And then he has to have his own metrics. We're working now to bring him back. And like I said, I'm not here to sell the program. I'm just here to really praise it though, because if I didn't find this, I don't know where I would be right now. You're so kind. Mm -hmm. Explain what you do in a power hour. There was a question and I know you do it with a few other people, but what the concept is, how you get ready for it, how do you execute it? So every morning there's two people who you know, I developed a, a bond with in, in this group because we have meetings every Monday and every other Thursday. And then we have two in-person meetings per year, mindset meetings. So mastermind, Chuck and Jay, every morning at 930, we, we get on a Teams call together. Maybe we do five minutes of talking what we did the day before. So we'll say, okay, yesterday I had five connects. I did this and this. And then we go into it and we mute ourselves. So we can watch each other do our power hour, but we're, we're muted. And it's different for each person. Uh, for one of the gentlemen, he's making recruiting calls. For me, it's all marketing. And we make the calls. And then about 1030, we unmute and we talk about what we did. Sometimes we talk about challenges, phone calls we had where we weren't sure how to handle it. And we do this every single morning. And it's something I look forward to. I just plan the night before. So I have all my phone calls and it keeps me accountable. So I'm not just sitting there at my desk doing nothing. I know for a fact by 930, I have to be making phone calls. And the key thing in that power hour is because, mm -hmm. and you all have your, like you said, you're muted, but you can see each other. The only thing you can do during that hour is calls. And like Jen said, it could be marketing, it could be recruiting, it could be both. But the only thing you can do, and it keeps you focused and accountable. Awesome. Definitely. Any other, any other tips that you have for somebody who might be struggling a little bit or wants to get on track? If you're struggling or want to get on track, one of the biggest things I can say, um, even for tomorrow, put your phone down, put social media down. Don't focus on anything going on, any distractions, because I think that's the biggest time suck is looking, getting stuck on just whatever it is, whatever your trigger is, whether it's just looking at influencers on Instagram or whether you're concerned about all the craziness in the world, put it away. And I would say time block, give yourself, say to yourself from nine to nine 30, I'm just going to bang out a bunch of phone calls. I'm going to make cold calls from even just to a half an hour, nine to nine 30. And make cold calls or make recruit, recruiting calls, marketing calls, and just try to keep the distractions away. Make sure you have a plan for the morning. Make a list of 50 people that you want to call. And don't say, I'm going to call everybody on this list. Just give, give yourself half hour increments. Half hour, make a bunch of calls, then take maybe a 20 minute break, send some emails, get something to drink and go back and do it in those small increments. And just make sure you have a plan in the morning. And the more cold calls you make, if you really boil down, it's a numbers game. The more I'm, the more calls I'm making, the more business comes in. And so far from outsourcing to Prudent for me, which has only been a few months now, I have one client, potential client that I just sent a fee agreement to and we're negotiating that. And then I have somebody else that gave me a job order that we're working on. So really from the short time I've been working with Prudent, which has been probably since August, I already have two, one and a half new clients from it. Awesome. Jen, thank you so much. So proud of you. Like when thank you. we have a little thing in Slack where we have celebrations with the coaches and they were put like Jen hit her annual goal. Mm -hmm. Like the, when you let her know, and that's one of the reasons I still, you know, I love doing this is when, 
we see people reach their ideal. Mm. And I'm just, we're so grateful to have you. So thanks so much for being yeah. here. Thanks so much for your, for trusting mm -hmm. us with your business.